Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Gabby, and today I'm going to be chopping up some cherry firewood. Okay, before this past year, we used to just chop up firewood once or twice in the fall, right before winter. But now, we're cutting down trees and we have all these limbs and branches lying around that we're like always chopping firewood anytime we get a spare moment. I don't know if you can tell, but the sky above is kind of like daring the rain to come because it's been raining for a few days now and the sky always looks like it's gonna thunder anymore so I'm kind of not sure. I started to sprinkle when I came out and then I'm like you know what we'll see what happens and it didn't rain so yay! And here is a close-up of the log splitter. As you can see, it's a pretty simple setup with one lever that pushes the wedge in and out. Because it's a single wedge, I have to cut the log in half once, flip it over, and then cut it again to make it into four. But sometimes the logs aren't quite the right size, so they won't split all the way again through, so sometimes you still have to re-split it. But sometimes you get a log that's just the right size and it splits very evenly into four little pieces. Now it's time to stack up all the wood. We stack the wood into half cords. That's four foot by four foot. Now we stack all of our firewood on four foot by four foot pallets. This keeps it off the ground and easily movable with the backhoe. keep all of our firewood separate in species. We have black mulberry, we have hickory, and now we have cherry. Now I didn't get a chance to record planting the onions, but I do got a short clip of how they look now, sprouting, and they look really good. On a homestead, you're always fighting the weather and timing, so it's really hard to record everything but I would do the best I can. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye.